It is April 28th, 2022. I'm near the walking path at the Georgia Southern University in Savannah, Georgia. That's a gate that leads to it and over there is the walking path where I had other videos about small flower pawpaws. And here I have another example. This is the tallest one I've found so far in the wild. It's almost up to my eye level. But here is the very distinctive new growth stem changing colors, which only small flower, hold on, let those cars go past. I know it doesn't show up as loudly in video, but it's very loud for me. Okay. This is the old stem back here. See, that's just kind of a plain gray brown. And then this is the new growth. And one very easy way to tell small flower pawpaws with the scientific name Asemina parviflora, apart from other pawpaws, is that the other ones will not have this very dramatic. Right now it's kind of a greenish yellow color and as we get further into the season it will turn bright cinnamon orange and then at the end of the season it will fade to brown and then eventually it will be the same gray as the rest of the stem. Common pawpaws just go straight from light green to gray. These ones turn this color in late April. Like I said, it's April 28th. Come on, focus. And then soon it'll start changing from this yellow green to yellow and then to a very distinctive orange. You can see when I'm not holding it, it stands out well. And then if we look further down here, you can see it here as well. But these are small flower pawpaws, and like other pawpaws, the leaves are smooth. That's damage right there. You see over here, the, the edges of the leaves are smooth, and the leaves travel up the stem in a zigzag formation. One on this side, that side, this side, which is known as alternating leaves. One thing common to all pawpaws, besides the smooth leaves, is if I can zoom in here, if it'll focus, the little orange node right here, that is the new leaf node, and it will form the next leaf on the stem in the same zigzag pattern. Well, this one's, the one up here fell off, but I'll show you on this one again. See it there, it's slightly larger than on the other one. This is one good way to tell pawpaws from other plants because they have this little paintbrush tip looking leaf node. And see, this here is the youngest leaf besides that. And as you go further back the stem, the leaves get older. But yeah, like I said, the gate is over here, there, and we are at this telephone pole here. And over at the edge here, you can see it right here. This is the pawpaw, this is a water oak, and there's also a water oak above it, so it's in the middle here. It's got large, much larger leaves than the water oak, and the water oak's leaves are very uneven and kind of squiggly all over the place. So that's not as obvious with this one. So this stem here is going all the way down to the ground, and it's got more leaves branching off. And then if you look back, well here's another one here. Yep, see this one's starting to turn more orangish colored. The rest of them will do that too soon. And there's little baby leaves there. And then if you look back, all of those are also pawpaws. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yep. All of those are small flower pawpaws back there with the dark green leaves. And then there's some more all the way back in there. Let me see if I can zoom in on those ones. And nope, that's where the camera starts to fail. Yeah, there's some on the ground there. 
with the dark green leaves. I don't see any fruit on these ones, but I was just about to go over to where I did the videos on the other ones. So you will see an updated video for those ones once I get over there, since I'm not going to film trying to cross the street. All right, that's the end of this video for now. It's April 28th, 2022. We are in Savannah, Georgia. All right, and on to the next video.